Afternoon, strangers. It's your boy Dasson out here in SAC. Uh, you know, it's kind of rainy today, but for the most part, you know, I got my bossings with me right now, so I'm out here chilling, you know, living that life out here in California. But, um, yeah, just today, well, I'm not really going to talk about music, you know, about Delibrium or Diamond Dave or K. Dasson or, you know, how we're about to start wrecking shop out here. Um, today I just wanted to talk about, uh, my dogs pretty much. Um, you know, uh, I got two Boston Terriers. If you guys don't know what Boston Terriers are, um, it's what's called a, uh, combination of English Terrier and, uh, English Bulldog. That's where they came up with the Boston Terrier. Uh, original intent of the Boston was to, uh, herd herd bulls in England. Um, you know, they wanted, the, the bulldog was too slow, uh, the English terrier was too weak. Uh, they had bulldog, I mean, that's where they get their name from, to grab on the ring of the of the bull. Um, so they tried to crossbreed the English terrier and the bulldog, you know, to, uh, you know, get, get this super, super human or super dog that would herd bulls. So we ended up crossbreeding them. It turned out that, you know, they, uh, you know, they didn't uh, accomplish what they wanted to accomplish. They ended up getting a very friendly dog that wasn't aggressive in any way necessary. And uh, so they, you know, they tried other breeds and they ended up coming on with the pit bull, you know, other bull, bully dogs. Uh, they had herd the bulls, but for this case, the Boston's, you know, the Boston's uh, uh, made it to America and actually became the first, you know, American breed, you know, um, in America. So Boston Terror is the first American breed. So if you see these little black and white dogs wearing tuxedos out, know that that's the first American breed in the country. But um, you know, I got my I got my dog. Like I had. Um, you know, a lot of different dogs. I had pit bulls, plenty of them. I had Doberman pinchers, Rottweilers, Sharpays, a bunch of dogs. And this is probably the smallest dog that, you know, I've ever had. Um, you know, I wanted to get a bulldog, but, you know, they have a bunch of medical issues and they're not active. Like, I wanted a dog that was, like, really, you know, an active dog. A dog that, you know, could do, um, you know, acrobatic things, like, return balls and like jump in the air and catch frisbees and shit like that. So, um, you know, um, ended up not getting that. Uh, had a friend that, you know, suggested, you know, at the time I was living in a small apartment and he's like, you know, you can't get a big ass dog in a little ass apartment. So, you know, he said, well, why don't you try this dog out? It's called a Boston Terrier. And this dog's like a little muscle, a little compact, a little muscle man. But, um, yeah, totally uh, checked them out. I was like, oh, I don't know about these little ass dogs, man. I'm used to pit bulls, buff ass pit bulls, and Dobermans and Rots. So I mean, I was like, I don't know about this. We'll we'll, we'll try it out. So ended up, you know, uh, getting uh, when going to a breeder, saw a dog. Like you know, I'll try it out. So I tried it out, and I was like, man, this little ass dog, man. But uh, ended up being the coolest dog like I ever had. Like you cannot go wrong with a Boston Terrier, man. I, I knew. I remember the day I was in school, in a uh, fucking uh came home the magazines tore up all the living room right i was like this motherfucking dog <laughs> just tore tore my whole house up so i put it i was like no don't you know don't jump over because i had him in the kitchen with the little gate I'm like don't jump over the fence don't jump over the fence and fuck shit up so i come back the next day the whole house is like fucking in, in shambles like fucking paper everywhere this fucking dog jumped back over the fence Yeah, you motherfucker. This dude right here jumped back over the fence and act like it was nothing. He's like, oh, I'm on the other side of the fence. Oh, it's all good. No, this motherfucker, so smart. He knew that it was wrong to, tear, to uh, jump over the fence, but not to tear the papers up. So, smartest dog I ever had, man. Smart dude, you know, learned how to walk up the steps at like two months or two months old, you know. And he's been a blast ever since, man. You can't beat it. Highly intelligent dog. Um... You know, clean, you know, I worry about shedding hairs and shit like that, you know. You know, it's pretty pretty easy dog to get along with.
But, uh, you know, been, my boy Frankie Brown Eyes had him since he was two months old. He's four now. And, um, you know, cop this little bitch right here, Bella, Bella Donna. You know, she's uh, ended up going, trying to get this dude a, a orange uh, collar, you know, for his, uh, for his, um, for the Giants World Series. Try to get him an orange collar. So I go in there, I come out, and I see a fucking Boston Terrier in a cage. And you don't ever, ever, ever see that. So I look, and I was like, what the hell is the story on this little ass dog? Like, why is this Boston Terrier? Because Bostons don't just fucking end up in cages. Like, usually Boston owners are are pretty, you know, they're pretty responsible when they take care of their fucking Bostons. But apparently I asked her what happened, and he said, oh, okay, the fucking owner died, and she had her brother, her and her brother were orphans and shit. So I was, you know, wasn't even expecting, totally just adopted her that day. You know, she's a cool little dog. She fucking shits rockets right now, but I'm trying to get her ass trained. But, uh, yeah, Boston's fucking pimp-ass dogs, man. Uh, if you're living in a little house or apartment, you know, definitely a Boston's, like, a better pick that you might want to get. Um, but, you know, I mean, you can't go wrong. These dogs are awesome. So if you're living in midtown Sacramento, you might see a lot of Boston Terriers because people understand fucking dope little dogs in small spots. Um, Boston Terrier is definitely where to go. Uh, I like fucking uh, I like the bulldog, the bull, bulldogs, French bulldogs, pugs, Boston Terriers, you know, pit bulls, you know. But uh, definitely stick with the little ones. You know what I mean? When you when you live in an apartment and shit, because uh, these dogs are beasts. And my this dog probably pound for pound the toughest dog like I've ever had like in my whole life. So uh, this boy, it's your boy K Destin out here in Sac. You know, he's talking about the Boston, the Boston, got three cars in my garage. Ah, give me my credit card number. Whatever. But, uh, totally killers. Uh, killer dogs, you know. Uh, you know. Next time you go out and you're looking for a pup, holler at a Boston Terrier.